Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Cancer love reading for July 2020. I hope all my uh, Cancer babies are doing well. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, this is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you can go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, the link is in the description box below. Okay. So guys, if you're uh, new, please be sure to click that subscribe button uh, and that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, I do choose we, uh, winners every month in the description box below. You'll see all the prizes that are given away. All you would have to do is comment in the comment section below what it is you would like to manifest, okay? All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get started here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my cancers, please, spirit? Clarity, guidance, and love messages, advice for my cancers, please. For July 2020, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please, Holy Spirit. Messages for my cancers, please, spirit. Okay, guys, so we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. So Cancer, I feel either you came to a realization, like you had an awakening, you got a download from your angels, your spirit guides, um, and it changed something, uh, either how you felt or in the dynamics of this connection, <coughs> okay? <clears throat> Or a truth is coming out here that's going to change things, okay? Now, on this side here, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Hermit. I feel like someone here doesn't know if they should stay away from you or not, okay? So I feel like you have come to this realization that your feelings have changed. Something here has changed, okay? Something, one person here, their feelings have changed. The dynamics of this connection have changed for them. And this person here just doesn't know if they're welcome or not. They don't know if they should stay away or not. They don't know if they should, you know, try to contact you or not. We've got the Knights of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we have Temperance, Sagittarian energy. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. So this person here, Cancer, has withdrawn to view their options. This is a you know, third party. Someone here was juggling. Someone here had a lot of options. A lot of options. Okay. Um, With the Knight of Pentacles and Temperance here, you know, this person may be coming in to apologize to you, Cancer, um, saying, listen, I would like to heal things between us. I, you know, I would like to take it slow and see if we can work something out here. But Cancer, I feel like you know the truth. You see the truth about this person, that this person has a lot of options. They're talking to a lot of people. They're not really, you know what I'm saying, sure, 100% positive that you are what they want. We've got the Justice card here, Libra Energy. And we have the Ace of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. Okay, so Cancer, here's the deal. This person in the past, maybe, okay, uh, had a lot of options. This person was emotionally withdrawn from you. They weren't really giving to the connection because they were juggling you with a lot of other people. Okay. They were juggling you with a lot of other people. 
Now, though, this king of pentacles, you see, this king is actually facing the pre-empress, okay? Now they're seeing your worth because they've went, they reviewed all of these options, interviewed everybody, and they're realizing here <clears throat> they can't replace you. Nobody is like the pre-empress, okay? And I love how right here, this king of pentacles, let me just show you because I don't know if you guys can see. This, this king, you see, he's looking right at the pre-empress, Okay, he's looking right at her, all right? Now, with the Justice card and the Ace of Cups, I feel, Cancer, like you have an offer coming in. Now, this person may have taken their sweet time coming back to you, Cancer, and that is because they were reviewing other options. This person, you know what I'm saying? They may, either they had a lot of other options, okay? Or they had one other option. They were juggling you with one other person and that other person broke their heart because that third party had options. Are you following me? Like they may have been juggling you with one other person. You guys got into a fight because you realized the truth of the situation. You separated and they went ahead and stayed away from you. They didn't come back and chase you right away because they wanted to see what would happen with that third party. And I feel that it's possible that that third party had other options and broke their heart. Because with the justice card here, we've got karma. Okay, so Cancer, I feel that this person may be dealt with some karmic justice and now they're coming in. They had seven cups or they had a lot of options. They had, now they're coming in, giving you their whole heart with that ace of cups. Okay, now they're wanting to come in and do right by you. Now they're coming in saying, listen, Cancer, I realize that you're the one for me. You know, you don't come. None of these other people compare. Okay, we have the three of pentacles here. And we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the King of Cups, Cancerian energy, Piscean energy, Scorpionic energy. So cancer, yeah, this is what I'm feeling here. Um, you, you saw the truth. Either you saw the truth, you were told the truth, or you had a download here, okay, knowing. And I feel like that just changed. It changed things in this connection. Now, you got to remember with the death card, though, something ends and it always brings enlightenment. It always brings a new beginning with it, okay? Now, <clears throat> The truth of the matter here is this person had options, and that's why they were withdrawn from you. They are coming back now. They may have taken their time in coming back, but they are coming back uh, either because they had their heart broken. This third party was an illusion and lied to them. Somewhere along the line, someone here paid karma. I feel like they lost you, and they're realizing that none of these other options are serious about them. None of these other options love them or care for them the way you did cancer. So now they're coming in wanting to give you that full cup. Okay, they want to give you that full cup. This King of Pentacles now, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, sees your worth with that Nine of Pentacles. They see how abundant you are. They see that you are pre-Empress material. Okay, now we have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This person is coming in to offer you their full heart, and they're going to work on the connection the way you've always wanted them to. Okay, because up here, they were not working on the connection the way you wanted them to. They were very withdrawn, whether it was emotionally, they weren't putting work into the situation. They were staying withdrawn. Why? Because the hermit is in his cave trying to figure out, trying to gain enlightenment, trying to analyze the situation, figure out what it wants to do next, right? What the hermit wants to do next. And I feel that now this person is coming in wanting to work on the connection and give you your wish fulfillment give you look here we've got the nine of cups plus the ace of cups that's the ten of cups so they're coming in to give you that love that you wanted okay nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles here so you know cancer they see that you're abundant that you have everything you need you don't really need them you're good you're doing fine the only thing you need in your life is love and i feel like they're coming in to give that to you with that ten of pentacles okay now we have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I feel like, you know, either, either Cancer, you have two people vying for your attention, because I do see three people here now. I see a King of Pentacles, a King of Cups, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and I see you right here as pre-Empress. So either you have to make a decision now about two people, or... Or I feel like this person in, is coming in with true commitment because that King of Cups is someone um, who knows how to master their emotions, someone who's emotionally mature, someone who comes in to truly give commitment and means it, okay? So let's see what we have going on here for the challenge. 
Spirit, what, what challenges do we have here in this connection? What is the challenge here in this connection, please? The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. And the Eight of Wands. So this could be an energy of secrets being revealed. This could be an energy of um, where once you guys are not talking, now there's a lot of communication coming in. So the challenge could be that one person doesn't want to talk and the other person does. Or the challenge can be that, you know, in order for someone to come back into the picture, they have to really open up and, you know, they can't be withdrawn here. So here we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, energy for the outcome. And we have the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So someone here may be saying, listen, I've grown. You know what I'm saying? From a page to an emperor, I've made my decision. Um, we could be dealing with a single parent here. We could be dealing with somebody who's saying, listen, I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to have a family with you. Um, we may have someone here that's coming in with passionate communication saying, listen, I want to be your emperor. I want to be your empress. You know, depending gender doesn't matter, guys. We read energy here. Okay. We have the sun card under the deck, uh, Leo energy, um, Aries Taurus energy there with the emperor. So, guys, what we have here is um, happiness, joy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So we can have enlightenment happening here where somebody is coming in, um, you know, explaining where they've been in their absence or opening up and telling you the truth here. You know what I'm saying? Um, or we can have somebody coming in wanting to offer you your wish fulfillment, offer you what it was that you needed to be happy. Okay. So let's see what we have going on here. Let's go ahead and clarify a little bit. Spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers, please? Tell me about this Ace of Swords. So we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So you received a truth here about this King of Pentacles, okay? You saw something clearly here about this King of Pentacles. Tell me about this Death card. Yeah, the Moon. Cancer, Piscean energy, I feel like you started to realize that there was a lot that you weren't seeing, um, a lot of red flags you weren't paying attention to. You started to realize that this person had a lot of secrets. There was a lot of dark spots that you weren't able to see. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're starting to realize that this person was lying to you. They had a lot of secrets. There was a lot of illusion here. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, okay? I feel that, you know, this person now is thinking about the mistakes. This King of Pentacles is thinking about the mistakes that they made, how they didn't invest. Tell me about temperance, the five of swords. Someone here walked away too quickly. Um, you know, it was an empty victory though. This person was kind of, um, I'm not really getting mind games. I'm just feeling that this person walked away too fast. Okay, they walked away too fast, Hermit card, Virgo energy. Um, they walked away too fast when they should have been more patient. They should have taken more time out to, um, give you a chance to see that you were better than these other options. And now they're looking back at that mistake. They're realizing there may have been a big, you know, the five of swords talks about maybe a blow up fight, somebody walking away, they have their pride, they have their ego. And now they're looking back like, wow, maybe, maybe I was a little too harsh. Maybe I shouldn't have walked away so quick. We've got the justice card and the seven of cups. So you see this person walked away from you, Cancer, and they got their karma, okay? They got their karma because either these other options were an illusion, they didn't compare to you, or it could be that that one third party broke your person's heart because they had options, okay? Tell me about this ace of cups and the three of pentacles again. Now they're wanting to come in and give you that full cup. Now they want to come in and build that solid foundation with you. Tell me about this three of pentacles. We've got the page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They're coming in with an apology, Cancer. Tell me about this nine of yeah, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. They're coming in with an apology. They're coming in with an offer. A lot of communication here. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles is about messages. So we've got romantic messages. I love you messages, emotional messages. And then we've got the Page of Pentacles, which is which are messages about stability, grounding, um, you know, solid messages. Okay. And I feel like, like I said here, you guys may have been going from, you're going to go from maybe not hearing from this person at all to a lot of communication coming in. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This person, I feel like this person, okay. 
either number one, they were married and juggling you, but I don't know. I don't really, it's a possibility. Either they were married and juggling you cancer, or this person wants to settle down. They want to have a deep commitment. They just didn't know who to pick. Tell me about the hermit, the four of pentacles. So because they didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Who to pick or who to choose. They held back. Tell me about this three of swords. We've got the two of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? This person, tell me about the seven of cups, the queen of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Yeah, they, they were putting you in third parties. This person was talk, talking to a lot of other people behind your back, cancer. They were juggling you with a lot of other people. Tell me about the king of pentacles, the five of wands. There is a lot of people that are fighting for this king of pentacles attention, okay? There was a lot of jealousy, a lot of strife, a lot of competition here. But the thing is, is that you rose above it. You separated yourself because you know you're pre-empress. You're not going to fight for this person. You know, you just, you know that like, you know your worth and you're not going to lower yourself like that. Nine of pentacles and the chariot, Cancerian energy. Um, and I feel that because you know your worth, Cancer, this is why you, you know, the chariot talks about making a decision, making a successful decision, and then pursuing it and gaining victory. Ten of pentacles and the two of swords. Tell me about the king of cups. We've got the world card here. I feel I feel that this king, you know, the two of swords talks about making a decision, but not knowing what's going to happen when you make that decision. Okay. But I feel like this person is making that decision. They don't know what's going to happen. They don't know how it's going to go, but I feel like this person is going to make that decision. They're choosing you cancer. And with that world card cycle over. Okay. Like I said, with that death card, it, it's the same concept, you know, something ending, something new beginning. And now under the deck, we've got that ace of cups. Tell me one, give me one more on this two of swords. Yeah. They're making a decision with that ace of cups and that ace of pentacles to just go for it. You know what I'm saying? To just go for it to just do it to just open up their heart and choose you and that's it tell me about this high priestess we have the eight of pentacles tell me about the eight of wands we've got the ten of wands okay so here's the thing cancer this person this person when they weren't talking to you spirit was doing some work on them okay they had to raise their their um they had to ascend spiritually. Okay. And now they're, they're wanting to come in to communicate, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for them to get through to you. Okay. Tell me about the emperor. We've got the ace of cups. This person is coming in wanting to commit cancer. Tell me about the page of wands. We've got the six of swords. This person is coming and telling you, listen, I know things were really bad before. I know they were. I know, Cancer, that you were giving me your love and I was rejecting your offer. I know that I was sleeping on you and I wasn't putting anything into the connection. I know I walked away from you and I thought I could find something better. I know I was in my ego. I know I was emotionally disconnected. Um, but I went I went to the third party. They went, they started that new beginning and they were very disappointed, okay? They were very disappointed in what they found there because nobody... Um, nobody compared to you here, cancer. I mean, that's just the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, um, was able to match your energy. Okay. So keep in mind here that keep in mind here that cancer, this person does want a commitment. Okay. They do want stability with someone. They just weren't sure who, okay. They weren't sure who we've got music. Okay, so Cancer, this person may be, uh, maybe there's songs that are playing that are reminding them of you or vice versa, Cancer. You may start hearing songs that remind you of this person and then out of nowhere, they pop up again. Okay, out of nowhere, they pop up again. So, you know, <clears throat> that might be a sign of how you know you're about to hear from them. You might hear a song that they always dedicate to you or a song that reminds you of them. Or this person is listening to music that reminds them of you. We've got goddess of the moon. Okay. So I feel like, I feel like this person has a depth to them that you don't know about, or maybe you just didn't know about these other options that they had. But I feel also that this person has a side to them that you don't know about cancer. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have here, please? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here from the cancers? Healing family issues. Okay. So I feel like 
number one, this person wants to come in and heal things with you. Another thing that I'm getting here is that this person, maybe spirit had to do some work on this person, some inner child work here, some, some, you know, childhood issues that this person was going through. So, you know, everything is happening for a reason. Everything always happens for a reason. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers? So we have true love. So I am getting that this person does love you, Cancer. I, I just, you know, I, I can hear you guys saying, well, we got soulmate connection under the deck. So I hear you guys saying, well, if this person loves me, how did they not just see my worth immediately? You know what I'm saying? How did that they not see my worth immediately? Why do they have to go look at other options? And when they don't, you know, they're looking for me and all these other people. If that's the case, why did they just choose me? Why do they need to find another man or another woman and have that person act like me? If, that, if they wanted me in that way, why did they just choose me and stop their shit? I get that. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why this person does what they do. But we have encouragement here. This person now is going to come towards you, Cancer, and I feel I feel like they're going to come towards you, and the enthusiasm that this person is going to have, that they have made a decision, like, this is you, you're the one that I want, they're, it's, it's like you're going to feel encouraged to actually take this. The thing here is, guys, is that for now, all I'm seeing is that this person has made the decision that you're the one and that they're coming in with an offer. I, I don't feel your feelings here, guys. What I feel, the only thing I feel from you is that you realize the truth about this person and you know that they're up to no good. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, this is pretty much your person has taken over the reading here in their concept of the fact that they have faced their karma with third party people. They can't find you and anyone else and they're coming back to make that offer, right? But I'm not really seeing, I'm not really seeing your opinion on this. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really, I know it's going to be hard for them to reach you maybe you have them blocked like it's going to be hard for them to communicate with you okay um surrender to the divine okay maybe your angels your spirit guides the divine here is encouraging you to just surrender to you know what they're trying to do in your life right now possibly let's see what we have here Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please? What clarity and guidance? Yeah, on this one, Cancer, you would have to, I feel like you're being encouraged to just surrender. Like, there's no way you're going to understand why it had to happen this way. Um, but it did, you know what I'm saying? We've got beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. So, Cancer, maybe you shouldn't trust this person. Maybe this person is, you know, saying that you're the one because they can't find anybody else better than you. But maybe, you know, what's going to happen if a year down the line they do find somebody that they find more attractive or something like that? Is this whole thing going to happen again? So everything seemed good. It seemed like they were pretty honest here, but be careful who you trust at this time. That's a red flag. All right, so what is this person really up to is the question now. You know what I'm saying? What is this person really up to? Are their intentions sincere? Or is it just because in this particular moment, they can't find anybody better than you? We've got gossip. We have facade. We have victim. And we have instinct. So cancer, got to be honest here. I got to be honest here. I feel like your friends and your family are telling you, please don't fall for their bullshit. Again, you're going to get hurt. Use your intuition here. With abundance and quest here, I feel like your friends and your family are telling you that this person is out for your money or to use you in some way. You do have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here. With that ace of pentacles, this could be cancer that for some of you, you're well off financially or you're abundant in some way. Maybe you have your own home. Maybe you have your own car. You know, you have something more than this person has, you know. The King of Pentacles generally is well off, so I'm not saying that this person is desolate. The King of Pentacles generally is well off, I'm not going to lie, but you have more than them, okay? Um, you have more than them, I'm feeling. So, I, you know, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like your friends and your family, the people around you there with gossip, don't like this person. 
And spirit is telling you here to be careful. So I feel like this person is going to come in. Okay, maybe they're going to send you a song or maybe this is just an indication of cancer. If you hear a song or whatever, that means that's a that's a, a an emphasis that they may be coming in soon. But I feel like with Goddess of the Moon and healing here, this person is going to come in wanting to heal the situation, telling you that you are their true love, but it might be an illusion. They may encourage you to just let go and let God type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to be here. We're going to make you happy. But with sun card and be be careful of who you trust at this time spirit may be telling you listen see things for what they are be enlightened don't trust this person and it's crazy because this person has taken over the entire reading they're they're coming in really wanting to fight for you cancer the five of wands the chariot they want victory in telling you listen those other people those other girls those other guys they were not they had nothing on you um you know i want you back i want all of this stuff but with the five of swords and temperance now with this card but where now I'm a little concerned that this person is coming back to heal something with you and it might be you know a mind fuck let's see what we have going on let's take it into the extended let's see what this person's true feelings and intentions are cancer let's see what will happen if you uh, reconcile with this person and then let's see what messages the divine has for you okay the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below I love you guys bye